is one of the biggest movie stars in the world. I mean, that literally, he's a gigantic human being. Um, and now he gives voice to Superman's dog in DC League of Super Pets. It opens in theaters July 29th. Please say hello to Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Good to see you. So I was doing all my Good research. Good to see you guys, too. Yes. <laughs> Good to be seen. Um, so we have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. We have an older daughter and two littler ones, little yes. people. We both like to work out. Yes. We both like cheat days, yes. although I like them more than you do, I think. <laughs> I have more cheat days than you do. We both get high. Oh, yes. wow. No, oh. sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That kind of crowd. Okay, okay. Um, your, your oldest daughter is now a wrestler. She is. She's making history. Yes. yes. So, yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you. This is amazing. Very proud of her. So, Simone Johnson, uh, my oldest daughter, daughter I have with Danny, uh, she made her debut uh, in WWE, um, their, um, uh, their smaller federation, the NXT. So she did so good. She went out there on the microphone. You got to be poised when you go out there. And oh uh, she has a cool wrestling name. What is, is it? It's Ava Rain. Oh. Wow. So how do you, yes. how does somebody come up with their wrestling name? Do you, do you get to pick it yourself? Does somebody sort of bless you with your wrestling well, name? Well, it, it comes from all different areas. Okay. Usually it's probably a mix of what she wanted to do, what she wanted to be called, uh, ultimately uh, what the powers uh, that be um, want uh, her to be called to as well. Wow. So, yeah, wow. It's so a really proud. Cool... And she's the fourth generation of wrestlers. She is. She's the first fourth generation of pro wrestlers in WWE. W oh. And I always like to say that name, Ava Rain, can mean a lot of things. But to me, in my mind, it means she's going to lay the smack down on candy asses when she gets <laughs> to wrestle with my kids. Yeah. What, and I need help picking a wrestling name. Okay. How, so how should I do it? Do I go to the council of four generations and say... You do, yes. Like, what do and I, now what that do I, I am here, me, you, and the universe, and the world watching okay. this amazing crowd, yeah. I think... Yeah. <laughs> I think, for one, Kerry Washington, <laughs> uh, with the grit and the mana that you have, the toughness that you have... Um, Ooh. Sweet cakes. Or Scary Carrie works, too. Oh! Well, right? That could I, be cool. What do we think? Yeah. Right, I'll do a vote. I'll do a vote. I'll do a vote. Um, do your younger girls have interest in wrestling? They, they love seeing me, because it's almost like it's just a different um, lifetime. It's ago. another era yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah, for them. So they're fascinated when they see me in matches, old matches. But they love, like, jumping off couches. I'm sure you're, yeah, you too, like, lots on of me. and. Uh, for my little daughters, I have a six-year-old and a four-year-old, and their favorite thing is uh, putting makeup on me. Their favorite thing is just, is you know, like, we do this game where she comes in, she's like, close your eyes, Daddy, and I got to close my eyes, and all I hear, you know when you have these little babies, you start to hear, like, wait, is that foil that I hear? <laughs> That, hear is the that rustling. something sticky? Like, was that what is fire? That? Was She's that a match? Like, Here it comes. And it's like just a face full of peanut butter. <laughs> oh or, my gosh. You know. And you let them. That's so I beautiful. Bring it on. Bring it I on. I love that. Did you only get us to write? Bring it on. So good. You know. Yes. Right? So I saw that you had a you had a similar sentiment recently with Kevin Hart when you'd let him bring on the tortilla on your SmackDown on TikTok. I, yeah, so we did this tortilla challenge, which is a challenge that, you know, is pretty um, <laughs> popular out there. Yes. And he, um, we played the TikTok challenge, and he slapped the <laughs> out of me with these tortillas. <laughs> but again, like I do with my little girls, I do it with my little son, Kevin. It's like, go ahead and <laughs> you can hit me. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, it's so good. Instagram that you just bought your mom a house, which is yeah. so sweet. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
This is the third house you've bought her, right? Well, it, you're making the rest of us look no, bad. No, well, no. What's no, happening? I, I had to. Well, well, um, well. Years ago, well, when I, I, my goal was to always play pro football, like your husband. Right? Yeah. So I know football is big in your family. So that was my goal. I never made it, but that was my ticket out to buy my parents their first home. They never. We never lived in a home growing up. It was always apartments and trailer parks. Mm. So when we were evicted off the island in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii, out of our apartment, I told myself then when I was 14, like. I need to buy my mom a house. So mm. bought them a house, and then I bought my parents a house, their first house, when I made a little bit of money. A little bit. 90, a little, in like even though you didn't make the NFL, you turned out okay. I turned out all right. <laughs> yeah, it turned out okay. Bought them their first house. They got a divorce. Then I bought my mom her second house after the divorce. And then we moved uh, to the West Coast. And so this you is had the to West buy Coast another house. House, yes. Wow. By the way, the, the other ones are sold. It's not like oh, okay. You're not just yeah. like racking up no, no, houses. No, 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 no. But my mom is just so she's my literally my biggest fan, mm. and she's the best. You know, Grammy to our daughters, all three. And now, wait, I've heard best. that actually she has a room dedicated to you in every house that Dude, she's had. She has a <laughs> she has a SmackDown room. SmackDown yes. room. She has a SmackDown room. <laughs> I love that because that's an official name. What's in the smack? Okay, like, so do you get smacked down if you walk into the room? I get, well, I get smacked down every time I go in there because she wants to bring every, all the guests have to go to the smackdown room, but she insists that I go with her. Oh, God. So there's nothing more horrifying than just standing there while she's like, and this is Dewey, was my nickname. She goes, this is Dewey, Dewey when he, you know, da da da, and this is this movie. And, and it's every poster it's, and every it's, award. It's every and... poster, award, any little thing, uh, and any kind of proclamation. Oh you know, my but I, that's goodness. what our parents do. Yes. Your parents do anything like that? Yeah, but they just have like a JPEG file. They don't have like a. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have like a whole room. Not a whole room. Just like here. But maybe it's link. because I haven't bought them a house. I've bought her like earrings. So maybe I need to buy it's more. It's time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so I also want to congratulate you because in addition to the ESPYS, you have also been named Master of Ceremonies for Shark Week. I did. Yes. What an honor. Yeah. What an you get this job? Okay, so um, <laughs> so Discovery called and they were interested in me hosting Shark Week, and it was all part of the promotion for Super Pets. Ah. Because it's Warner Brothers, it's Discovery, and I kept saying no because I couldn't figure out what the reason. I just didn't want to do you it. You didn't want to the the intimidate the sharks. I didn't want to intimidate the shark. I know. One. I know. So I figured, oh well, here's a good way to do it. What if we went to Hawaii and sharks are. Um, honored and revered in our, I'm half black and half Samoan, and on my Polynesian side, they're respected and honored. We call them Amakua, which mm. is our gods. So I said, what if we connected culture to Shark Week, and they were said yes, and I said yes, so we brought everybody to Hawaii, and it was beautiful. I oh, can't wait, I starts this Sunday. I love that. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Thank that's you. really beautiful. Thank you, that's incredible. Very cool. Have you ever had a shark encounter? I did, I had a, Encounter one time, I was swimming off the coast in Australia, and I had a run-in with a great white. Yeah, it was crazy. What uh, did you do? Well, you're, they say you either stay still, or if they start to attack, you should, like, you hear that crazy story about punching sharks? Yeah. Right, in the nose or wherever you can, or in the eye, and that's what I started to do. Like, that was the only thing I knew how to do, was just, you know, just try and punch, and <laughs> then punch back. That's what, that's what you do. Do, I'm, do everything you can to get away, you know, when you feel like they're going to... It's incredible. ...attack you, yes. Um, but well, that, well, then the second part is I woke up from that dream, and I was like, oh! <laughs> wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have more with Dwayne Johnson after this. I know these powers are new to you, but when one has an abundance of power, they have a certain duty to use that power to... Sorry. You were saying something? I was making an inspiring hero speech. How much did you have to drink? I had two toilet bowls and a bidet. Bidet, too, which is, which is crazy. I didn't even know that was a thing, but it's like a dog water fountain. You disgusting animal. <laughs> Johnson and Kevin Hart as the voices in DC League of Super Pets. Mm -hmm. So people think of you as a big action hero, but in this you're playing a superhero's dog. Superman's dog, okay. right. So that's a conceit of Super Pets. It's the idea of 
your favorite uh, superheroes from the Justice League and their pets and the superpowers that they are uh, that they are given and them trying to um, trying to control and understand their superpowers and at the same time having to save the day. Uh, which is, yeah, it's really cool. It's so, so like fun. Superman's dog, Batman's dog, Wonder Woman's pig, Flash's squirrel. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> so fun. No, Green Lantern's squirrel, Flash's uh, turtle. Yes. Yes. That's a good matching, Flash yes. and the Turtle. So this is your fifth film with Kevin Hart. Are you yes. obsessed with Kevin? You love Kevin? <laughs> you wanna, you wanna be besties with Kevin? Let's talk, Karen. Okay, yeah. I wanna know. Let's I wanna know talk. what the deal is. Uh, this will be my last with Kevin. <laughs> Does he no, know? Breaking news. This is it. No, I love Kevin. We just, <laughs> from our very first movie, we got such a great chemistry and a bond. And there's a lot of trust, you know, with Kevin and I. So I just, and just, um, yeah, I love that guy. But who gets more attention when you're out in public together? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, be honest. I am very honest, for sure. Um, it would be Kevin, because, really? well, because he's, he's so loud and obnoxious. Every room he comes into, <laughs> he always yells. You know, how it is. you know Kevin. Right? I do. I yes, do. You know. First, hey, great, hey, I'm I... here. Hey, guys, look at me. <laughs> and I hear that you just adopted a dog, right? I did. Does your family just do that? Isn't that so sweet? <laughs> yes. Look at that. Okay, so tell we went to this, this local place called Wagmore, which I highly recommend you guys go to. So I have to tell you the story about uh, Little Turbo here. Oh. So I, I'm I'm at work. I'm in my office, and I get the FaceTime call. Uh, from my wife, Lauren. So you gotta pick it up. I pick it up and it's little jazzy. She's six and she's so happy. She And first thing out of her mouth was, and this is unexpected by the way, this is not planned. She goes, daddy, can we keep him? You're like, keep who? And I went, oh God. <laughs> and I look and she's showing me, of course, oh. little Turbo. And then Lauren set it up nicely, my wife. She said, well, daddy's gotta meet Turbo. So later on that afternoon, I went to go meet Turbo. Turbo, beautiful little dog, beautiful little puppy. And he, um, so this is how amazing I think uh, the universe and God works Amen. in these amazing ways. Um, he was going to get euthanized. Oh. And so my wife took my daughters to this arts and craft, crafts place. They left the arts and crafts place. They, <laughs> this is a true story. They smelled what they thought was donuts. And, our little, and this was over the weekend. So my little daughters were like, let's follow our noses. So they started walking <laughs> down a sidewalk to where they thought it was, strip mall, no donut place, no sweets, nothing. And they're like, wow, this is really weird. And they look and there is this adoption agency, Wagmore, right oh, in front of them. So they walk in and Lauren says, well, we're here. Do you guys have any puppies? They bring out Turbo. <laughs> I go meet Turbo a few hours later, I'm speaking to the woman, all wonderful staff, by the way, and they were telling us that not only was she, he was gonna get, he was gonna get euthanized, um, not there at another place, but then they rescued him. But then a family came the day before to get Turbo. They fell in love, they said, we're gonna take him. They went to the back to get the papers, they came out, the family left without oh. Turbo. Oh no. Like what happened? And so he was just left alone again. He and was then meant to he be. He was more. meant to be, so we have Turbo now. <laughs> So, so we've seen you in so many films play this incredible action hero, but you are going to play a superhero, like a real superhero for the first time. Can you tell us about I that? I would love to. He is the, um, the anti-hero known as Black Adam. Black Adam! Black Adam! Yeah. Look at that! Yeah. Oh. I am so excited about that, and there are a lot of excited people for this movie. And yes. It's the DC Universe, and... Um, he's a bit of an anti-hero? He is, he's an anti-hero, and what I always like about Black Adam, for those who don't know, he was blessed with the powers of Superman across the board. The difference is, Superman's biggest weakness is magic. It's one of his greatest strengths. Oof. And with superheroes and Superman, uh, there's a code of honor and ethics, as you guys know, if you follow that, they. Uh, they won't kill the bad guys. Black Adam? He don't care. Cancel Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel Christmas. I love that. Um, and I'm assuming that Kevin Hart will be in this one too? Yes, yeah, so yeah, there's, a, there's yeah. a running joke. I'm Black Adam in the movie and I'm bringing Kevin Hart on as Honky Pete. <laughs> Peek, 
any tidbit secret about the film that you could share with us? Uh, let's see. I can tell you that we are w working on something that um, we're, we're working on something I think that that the world will will really respond to. Oh my God! I'll just say I that. Mean, I know. I mean, it's teeing it up. It's I so mean, good. I know. I know. I put you in a bad position. I've been in that position, <laughs> but I'm so excited about this. Thank film. you. Yeah. Yeah. Too, All you. right. More with Dwayne when we come back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm here with Dwayne John. Can you believe it? So exciting. <laughs> so, so earlier tonight, you and your business partner, Danny Garcia, were at the ESPYs. Yes. Because you are both co-owners co of the XFL. Yes. Yes. You've partnered with the NFL League, um, and that means the, that league obviously means a lot to me and my family. Of course. Tell me a little bit about what you've got cooking with the XFL and the NFL. And sure. Well, the XFL is our spring league, which we acquired a few years ago. We wanted to take our time, do it right. This is the third iteration of XFL. So we started a collaboration with the NFL. The NFL play, um, Alumni Academy um, is great, by the way. So basically, it goes like this. The NFL has an Alumni Academy that um, if you don't roster throughout the NFL season, you automatically get a contract to go to the XFL to play wow. that. Yeah, to wow. play that thing. Wow. So those players who didn't who didn't roster in the NFL will come to us. XFL will have a full spring season with a championship game at the end. Uh, the NFL coaches will be able to evaluate, watch gameplay, and then if they're ready, then they'll go on to the NFL in the fall. So um, yeah, it was very very special. Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool. It must mean so much to you as somebody who was in that same exact position. It does. I, um, my, my goal and my dream was to play pro football. I went to University of Miami, played with some great players, great teams. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> but my goal was to make it in the NFL. And I like to say uh, that there are 53 men on an NFL roster, as you know. Uh, I was always number 54. I was that guy that the coaches said, DJ, you're good but you're not good enough. Mm. And unfortunately, this is where the dream ends. So that being told you're not good enough for something I've worked so hard for, like your husband, right? Mm. For years, decades, a decade, uh, and being told you're not good enough, this is where it ends. The chip that put on my shoulder mm. and the fire and the drive um, has led me to here today. So I like to tell people who, when they ask about the XFL and what, what the culture of the XFL is, they're all number 54. Mm. They're all that player who said, yeah. you're good, but you're not good enough. And the player's response is one of two things happens. Either they go, okay, well, I'll move on, or uh, actually, you're wrong. Mm. Watch me. So Danny, who yes. you mentioned, you guys were at the ESPYs. She's made history as the first woman to own a league, not a team, a, a league. league. Yes, yes. That's phenomenal. Yes. So, Danny, I've known Danny since I was 18. We met at University of Miami. She was an amazing athlete, too, at Miami. And um, uh, we have uh, worked together since. And we also have a daughter, Simone, together. We, um, so, uh, it, it, I, very, she became the first woman uh, to own a majority share of a professional football league in the United States. That is history-making. It is just so amazing. <laughs> Your family and likes to make history. What's that? Your family likes to make like history. To make history. like to break records. But you know what? I got an idea. Would you guys like to meet her? Yes! Bring her out! Bring her out! Bring her out! Bring her out! Gorgeous! Thank you so oh my much. Congratulations. Thank you. It's so impressive. You are making history. How does it feel? You must be so proud and excited. It's I don't a... want to tell you how to feel. Tell me how you feel. Okay. First of all, I'm on Jimmy Kimmel with Kerry Washington. <laughs> <laughs> so, can I tell you? It's amazing, but it was it wasn't something I set out to do. Mm. We set out to buy the XFL. I mean, it was a phone call to DJ that said- Was it your idea? It was my idea. I love it. I said- I love it. I, you Didn't know. you know it was the woman's idea? <laughs> Didn't you just no. know? Didn't you just know? <laughs> you already know. <laughs> the, um, the pandemic happened. I was watching the XFL. I was like, this league, I can do something with this league. Yes. It was like in my soul. And I called him up and I said, I have a big, crazy, beautiful idea, <laughs> but it's crazy. 
Yeah, and she, she, she says, I have a crazy idea. And I was like, well, I love crazy, so <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time. What do you think? And, and I said, said, I want us to buy the XFL. And then it was a drive. It was a drive. There was a bid. There was months and months of work. And all of a sudden, I got this call. It says, you have the XFL. Wow. And a month later, press recognized that I had made history. Yeah. So you didn't even uh, know you were making I didn't history. Even know. You were just I following your heart. Look at God. So it's so wonderful to have you both here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Really. DC League of Super Pets opens in theaters July 29th. We will be right back with music from Wiz Khalifa. <laughs>